Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is a big day, exciting day. If you can zoom in on my odometer, I'm over 900 kilometers. And when I picked up my bike, I booked an appointment 10 days out to do my 1,000 kilometer break-in service. And this is the day. Let's go get it done and unleash this beast. And a little surprise today, check this out. This is the 2023 BMW, I always get this name wrong, R9T, because of course they spell it out, N-I-N-E-T. This one, of course, is the Boxer. It's an 1170. Anyone who's super OG on my channel, remember the Boxer FRS? <laughs> this is a mini version of that, and it has that classic Boxer noise. So anyone who's been following since I had my Monster last year, I did ride the Ducati 1100 Scrambler, and that was my first Scrambler experience um, as a loner. And then after that, I actually rode the Triumph T100 Bonneville, and that was a completely different experience. And then today, I just happened to get this bike, so I thought, hey, let's make a video and talk Scrambler world. And of course, Scramblers compared to all of the street Ducatis that I ride. Man, it's a different world in Scrambler world, but uh, let's get into it. <laughs> and yes, for everyone who's OCD like me, I did notice the little flip on the gas tank up. That makes me nuts watching this video too. <laughs> This is my loner for the day. BMW Cruiser World. <laughs> Check that out. That's a lot of bike. Getting my 1,000 kilometer service in today on the Street Fighter. And taking this bad boy for a blast. So let's get right into it. So this BMW is exactly the look. This is the vibe. This is the hipster, tan saddle, gold wheels, racing number, scrambler that everyone dreams about and thinks, wow, this is so cool. I would love this as a daily rider. It's beautiful. The finish is fantastic. It's got that classic BMW stance. But right to the website, let's dig into this a little bit. So this is an 1170cc boxer that makes, I think, 108 or 110 horsepower. I didn't actually believe it at first. They've got funny things on here, like look at these dust covers on the forks and look at these comfort grips. Um, and of course, boxer engines, cool tank shape with a snorkel that looks pretty sick. But as soon as I got on the bike, man, there was such a weird experience. The gauge has no revs, it has no RPMs, and no gear indicator. And here we go with some stats that are coming up on your screen right now. 116 torque, so it's got some power on the fly, and I could definitely get it up over 180. And then you look at the power number, and it was just like, wait a minute. And the single gauge, I didn't know what was going on, but this is it. Uh, so let's get this thing out on the road. <laughs> so here's the curb test at my work. The BMW can go over a curb. I have to confess, the Street Fighter, if I take a run at it, it can make over that curb, but it's it's like centimeters to hitting bottom. So that's a funny lifestyle thing for bikers who bike daily and commute. Now here we go. Off the mark. Wait for it. Wait for it. I could probably look back to the video and see where the zero to 100 is here on this one. So pulling all the 109 horsepowers, around about nine seconds to 60, which was actually not bad. Okay, okay, I'm giving the BMW a hard time compared to my Ducati. But here you see me passing every other car, every other motorcycle, every rider on the street. You can ride this thing fast and you're comfortable and the seat is fantastic. You got a nice wide stance. One little bobble here my first turn, I didn't actually know on this Cloverleaf what gear I was in. No gear indicator. And so you'd have to be a really sharp eye, but I did a little skid when I geared it down and uh, 
kind of caught myself not paying attention. And then on the fly, here we go down the freeway. So comfortable. This bike actually makes you want to sit up and uh, just take the wind in the chest. So heading back to the dealership here, this is a moment. Check out this BMW beside me, passing the Z4 convertible. And I thought, hey, this is BMW life. And then right into traffic, heavy traffic to drop the bike off. And no problem cruising on this bike at low speeds. No engine braking and jerky throttle like you have on sport mode on my Ducati. And I definitely wasn't looking for my Kevlar pants <laughs> to block me from the heat of the Panigale engine underneath me. No problem with heat at all on this BMW. So here we go, turning the corner to Blackfoot Cycle. Thanks again to the guys at Barnes Blackfoot. Always great that they can get me these loaners if I can plan far enough ahead. And if I haven't said it enough, if you're looking for a new bike, a BMW or Ducati, come see the good guys at uh, Barnes Blackfoot. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Just spent a bunch of my day getting my break-in service done, and the guys at Blackfoot loaned me this brand new BMW R9T. So if you don't know, it's <laughs> almost a 1200cc cruiser, um, scrambler style, obviously, but pretty neat. So gonna do a little walk along, um, voiceover review, ride demo of this bike. Um, because I've ridden a bunch of scramblers, including the Ducati 1100. And this was definitely a different experience. Some of the features they call features on this bike. Um, doesn't have inverted shocks, you know, it's, it's very old school. It's really a retro style bike, but you feel that in the performance. It's soft on purpose. Gave myself a scare this morning. I was basically doing a cloverleaf turn, um, gear down and no rev, no tack and no gear indicator. And so I didn't know where I was and basically locked myself up gearing down, did a little slide around with this big bike. You definitely know when it's moving under your feet. But uh, given that, you know, I was thinking all day back when I was a kid and I used to ride enduro bikes. This would be like an old school bike. It'd be cool to burn around a gravel corner, let it drift because you got all that weight holding you to the ground and just a fun bike. And it really made me think about like, what kind of rider am I? Who's the rider for this bike? It's not someone who just got off their Street Fighter and they're looking to, you know, bomb every turn and flat and straight away um, with their head down, you know, crouching on the tank, tucking everywhere. This is really a sit up. It makes you want to sit up when you're riding and just take it all in. And so there's definitely a person for this bike. I think for that person who's not looking for the ultimate performance, maybe this is the right bike and I wouldn't, you know, beat up on the price if it's, you know, I'll drop in a, a quick roll here from their website, um, 17,000 or whatever the bike is. If you're buying a BMW, it's just like buying a Ducati, you're gonna spend the money to get the name um, and everything that comes with a bike that looks like this. So can I say like a half a thumbs up? Um, just to pick on the Ducati a minute. So I rolled the, um, Ducati Scrambler 1100 last year as a demo and that is you know not as quick as my other bikes that I've been riding but it is a performance bike it's much stiffer much more responsive really cranks on the throttle when you crank on it that bike made a crazy noise like I would get that bike just for the noise if I was doing a Scrambler where this guy half the noise was coming out of the boxer if you aren't used to having your <laughs> Ducati test ride going by me here. That's gotta be miles. But anyhow, I was saying, if you're not used to uh, having your exhaust on your left, I heard this noise on the left beside me and I thought it was a bike beside me. I know it's the exhaust on the opposite side that I'm used to. Um, but I could also hear the ticking in the box or whichever side of the bike I tip my head to. So if my bike was making that noise, I would get it checked out. It was like tick, 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 tick. And I guess that's just a boxer thing. But uh, yeah, all in all, thanks to Blackfoot, fun bike to get on. A lot of my buddies give me a hard time for riding fast all the time. So if you're one of those guys looking for a cruiser and you think, 
hey, I just want power when I want it on demand, not confused with all the electronics and settings and things on a Ducati. This is simplicity in its finest, one gauge. You just look at your speed. You don't even know what gear you're in. It's like riding in the 70s. But anyways, that's it for today. Gonna go give this back, get back on the Street Fighter. No more uh, break-in period. It's time to light up the beast. Stay tuned for more. Time to unleash the beast. <laughs> so for the whole break-in, I had 915 kilometers or something by the time my appointment came up. Um, I kept it under 9,000. And damn, life begins at 9,000 on the Street Fighter. It just pulls and pulls and doesn't stop pulling. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Not quite the ending of the BMW video, but uh, damn, that, that roll home. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So thanks again for watching. Um, if I ever get on some new bikes, we'll definitely get a video in here. But next up is going to be uh, Unleash the Beast, the new, the new chapter on the Street Fighter V2. Crazy. <laughs> here we go.